own my thoughts. Near on unachievable these days. So what... What did Jackie decide of here? Oh, you know. Gonna be a legend in this city. And I'm gonna leave you alone now. Take your time. Fucking scared me, know that? Thought you were on your way out. No, still here. For now. You know, should call anyone you want to say goodbye to. Worst case scenario. That what you expect? No. But whatever you decide, risk's gonna be high. If things don't go our way, just fucking do it. Anyone you gotta talk to, now's the time. Pills can wait. I'm calling Pan Am. Pan Am. Just want to hear her voice. Sure as hell hope it's that and only that. Won't keep you long. Just wanted to hear you. Huh. He picked an interesting hour for it. Be? Okay, what's going on? Something. Something I gotta do today. Gonna be high risk, big time. But I have to. What is it? It's not for comms. Not really. Then shut up and tell me where you are. In the city? Yeah. Okay, then plant your butt somewhere and wait. I'm on my way. You don't get it. I... I can't wait anymore. This has something to do with what you were telling me before? It does. Well, I'll say one thing. There's always a way out. Here's what you need to do. You need to take a few deep breaths. Then rethink all this. Hard. And then you can call me back. Do you know why? Because I am here for you. But... End of discussion. Well played. Wouldn't let me get a word in edgewise. Probably for the best. Would have said too much anyway. Was good you called. Wish I'd have had the chance to. Come a long way to get here, haven't we? Just think. It all started in a fucking landfill. Mm -hmm. Then he tried to kill me. Exactly what I mean. Here we are now, together, soaking in this vista of Night City. My only regret's that I won't get to see how it all ends. Gee, thanks. Got that little faith in me? Not in you. In the rest of them. Listen. Want to trust Pan Am and her tarmac rats? Fine. But it'll be their lives weighing heavy on your soul. And if you take Arasaka's deal, well, you'll have your own soul on your conscience. I think it's worth taking a chance in Arasaka. The fuck was that? God, how are you so fucking stubborn? Inherited your finer traits. You absolutely sure? No going back on this, you know. Yeah, just don't freak out. Honestly, couldn't give a gnat shit. Got a feeling you're gonna regret this decision. And the moment that dawns, I won't be there to help. Could be my last ride, this. Out, uh... Just want to be there for it. Where? See you inside, Mikoshi. Johnny? Fuck. 
Okay, just me now. Ready to talk? Ready. I'm glad to hear that. So tell me. Need a way into Arasaka Tower. Now. Sorry, what? I'm serious. Whole thing with Johnny? I don't do something soon. I'm done. Gone. Slow down. First, why Arasaka Tower? The tech. Underneath that tower, they got an access point to... Well... Odd as it sounds. A prison of souls. A prison of souls? No. You, this might not fly over the hollow. Makoshi. That's its name. Only place Johnny and I can disentangle for good. It's my last chance. So, again, just to be clear, you've called me at High Moon to ask me to help you break into Arasaka Tower, or you'll die. About the gist of it, yeah. Okay. What? Okay. Where are you? Vic's clinic. The Ripper? Right, I know where it is. Can you hold off on dying for a bit? Give it a shot, sure. Good. Don't go anywhere. I'm coming to get you. Is that you, V? Or... Yeah, it's me. So, what now? Waiting for my driver. Come inside. We'll wait together. Who do we have here, huh? That's Mr. Brightman. We found the poor guy in the trash behind the clinic. I think he misses Jackie. Ain't alone. You have to wait. Mind if I give you a reading? Sure, why not? Some believe uncertainty is an evil that should be dispelled through divination. Others claim it's change that is evil. But that isn't true either. Every minute of every day, we each become someone new. We shouldn't fear change itself, but only who we might change into. Knowing one's path is most important. I devised this layout especially for you and Johnny. Your future is his future, and vice versa. Okay, I'm ready. We'll start with you, V. The Fool. <laughs> what a surprise. Let's dig deeper to find its meaning here. The Fool symbolizes the start of a journey, the announcement of something new. It's the inner child, curious of the world, but also naive and reckless. <laughs> Sounds a lot like the V I first met. The Magician. A person of great talent and charisma. A leader. Sounds like Johnny. The card is reversed. That can mean a tendency toward addiction, mental instability. Okay. Definitely, Johnny. He is one great disturbance. The final cards are about your futures. The lovers. <laughs> Something that doesn't give me the chills, finally. Balance, friendship, love. Uh-huh. V, have you been keeping something from me? Huh? What? Why? You're making a strange face. I, uh... <laughs> <clears throat> no, I'm fine. Okay, and Johnny's? The moon. Well, it doesn't sound too bad, right? I don't know, V. The moon is mystery. Hmm. <laughs> 
I think that's for you. Yep. No mistake in that ride ever. You scared me, you know that. Didn't think anything could scare you. Hey. We're here to help, okay? Come on. Everybody's waiting at camp. Look out for yourself, V. You too, Misty. And thanks for everything. Welcome back to the living. You feeling okay? Um, I guess. Mighty good to hear. You had us worried back there. You passed out and we couldn't shake you awake. It sure does seem like your uh, condition might be getting worse. Pan Am asked me to keep an eagle eye on you. Where'd she go? She's off debating Saul. You need help, that's clear. They sat right down to figure out how we might do that. Come on, I'll take you to see him. So, V, I heard talk that there's a war coming. Afraid I don't got a choice, Mitch. Looks like we don't have one Can't neither. The whole clan knows we set out tomorrow. They know why, what our aim is. Look around, V. War-tested <coughs> veterans are a fistful at most. The rest mostly raid rinky-dig convoys and salvage scrap. So for now, they only know as much as they need to know. The, plan the is aim is to help you out. Do not go muddying the waters. Not now. We're sending this clan to its grave. Fuck, you think I don't know that? And yet you seem to think you can change something by chewing me out like you usually... V, finally. How's your health? Needed some sleep is all. Heard you were already cooking up a plan. We still have details to iron out, but we know the who, where, and how. Have a look for yourself. A few strategies we sussed out, but only one grants us a decent shot at penetrating Arasaka Tower. We'll dig a tunnel. So you want a tunnel into Arasaka Tower? I know how it sounds, but we'd be plum fools not to take advantage. I see Night Corps building a new maglev line in the area. Granted, it's guarded by Militech, but they're nothing we can't handle. Once we're in that tunnel, it's just half a mile to the substratum levels of Arasaka Tower. They're using one of Night Corps' cirques. We would only need a few minutes to dig that distance. Not bad, wouldn't you say? Once we're in, we'll have to improvise. Guards, security measures, the fastest way into Mikoshi. We'll take things as they come and hope for the best. V, any thoughts? Sounds doable in theory to me. No competing ideas? Then let's get prepping. We'll need bucket loads more information. It's the only way to determine if this plan holds It'll water. It'll be full of holes no matter what we turn up, Saul. I can tell you that already. But what's the alternative? To call off the assault? To let him uh, die? Pan Am is right. We have to accept these risks come what may. That much we owe you. I'll talk to our brothers and sisters. Get a drone buzzing over that site. And I'll check with Mitch. I think I know how to even the odds against Militech. Come find us later. I'll leave you in Saul's hands now. Just, no making decisions without me. Is there anything else you need? We need a decent net connection. Someone I know can help us get into Mikoshi. Who might that be? Alt. She's... It's... An AI. From... Uh, past the Black Wall. Are you fully present up there? Why in hell would an AI help us break into Mikoshi? Cause I'll ask it to. Nicely. Fuck, maybe. You know what? Fine. We're up to our balls and dung anyway. Might as well go deeper. Find Dakota. She'll get you geared up. No questions asked. Thanks, Saul. Thank me once we get out of Mikoshi alive and in one piece. Fellas? We heard we're gearing up for a minor war. More like a suicide mission. Finish it up here, all right? Lo and behold. Isn't this... In theory, 
We fitted an afterburner and a multi-RPG launcher up top. We also scooped out about 60% of its total mass. Beautiful, isn't she? You'll take the wheel with Pan Am riding shotgun. Afterburner. Standard nitro or military grade? Standard couldn't move this baby an inch. So hardware's military. But how the hell did you cram all that into a panzer? Oh, small beans compared to the tricks we pulled with Scorpion during the war. When we unleash this beast tomorrow, you'll see. Since tomorrow's a big day already, how about we take it for a spin now? Want to get a feel for her over the terrain. Sure thing. Maybe after sundown, though. We still have a few loose screws to tighten. That's putting it mildly. Will you quit being such a sourpuss? We'll have her ready in time. Firepower up top. What is it? A rapid-fire 70mm multiple rocket launcher coupled with an onboard MMI you can sync to via personal link. Where'd you get all this stuff? Teddy salvaged it from a scrapyard. The launcher itself was fine. The problem was no ammunition. As luck would have it, Dakota procured some. Don't ask me how. Talk later then, I guess. Hey, Dakota. It's been a long while. What is it you need? Need a strong rig for a little jaunt on the net. Okay, get in. Ice filled tub. Favorite bit. Carol, here to help Dakota? Evidently, I'm here to help you today. You good to go? Can't say how long this is gonna take. Whatever happens, stay cool, all right? Even if you look like you're about to flatline? All right, time to move. Follow the vectors, bro. currently indisposed. Currently? He is buried deeper. You treat him like an unwanted passenger, a backseat dreamer of a world not his own. I had no choice. It was the only way I could come here, meet with you. Repression. You are good at this, and improving. Let me get this straight. Mean to say, you only agreed to help me because of Johnny. And since he's not here this one time, you're thinking of backing out. I do not aim to back out. I have my own intentions for Mikoshi. Because mm. for a second you were displeased, and I seemed a side note to all this. To observe the two of you interacting. Informative. Need your help, Walt. Don't got a lot of time left. You truly believe time to be your greatest concern. You exist or you do not exist. Two states of being separated by death. Matter of perspective. Think what you will, but seems to me I rose from the dead. Only question is, what now? You believe you cheated death. It is death that has cheated you. You are in between. You will begin to understand but only in Mikoshi. What should I expect there, in Mikoshi? A boundary to cross. In all likelihood, the sole moment of your life when you feel the true weight of your existence. A burden for which you cannot prepare. I'll make it through. While Mikoshi will not. Constructs imprisoned there. Gonna set them free? They will be integrated with me. Wasting time talking. Let's just do this. 
there. I sent a program to your Netrunner shard. Once inside Mikoshi, use it. It opens a secure connection. What am I supposed to do with the shard? You must slot it into an access point. I will take care of the rest. This meeting will not be our last, should you succeed. We got him back. Carol, the shard! Relax, child. You barely jacked in when your temperature went skyward to almost 105. The tech started acting as if infected. No. Stranger. Spookier. What happened here? You melted half my tech! That's what happened! Neural activity spiked sharply. Your frontal lobe was seconds away from flowing out your ears, babe. I could just as well have popped a bullet in your head. Are you sure you're alright? Peachy. Good. Real good. The shard. Wrote some soft I need to one of the shards. Please. We're surrounded by ice. Even if something punched through, my controllers would have... Holy... Get it away from me. Thanks, Dakota. Don't thank me. Find Saul. He came around looking for you. On my way. Saul, you want an award? Hop up here. We going somewhere? All right, V. It's a simple matter. We, all of us standing here, owe you. And it's a great debt. Speak for yourself, Saul. But in spite of that, you're still an outsider. A mercenary from Night City. What might as well be another world. Hey, ask Pan Am. She knows. So it's about time we fix that. A downright injustice it is. It needs fixing. You're gonna be an Alda Caldo. Which means this family will go to hell and back for you. Ready, kid? Do your worst. You're one of us now, B. You're an Alda Caldo, damn it. Great to Thanks have you with us, Thanks for everything, V, and don't worry. We'll get you into that Makoshi. Isn't that the welcome way Welcome to it? the family. A warm welcome for our newest Alda Caldo! Welcome to the class! to say. It's about time you did it. No, like... I really don't. Never expected this. Thank you. Don't worry. It's but a formality. You've been a de facto member of this family for a while now. You saved my rumpus, and as Bobby tells it, Mitch is too. I won't even mention Pan Am. Go to hell. Saul's right, though. I mean, let's face it, V. My life was in a million pieces. You broke it into a million. But sometimes it's only then that you can piece it together again. All right, fam, listen up. Today we celebrate, but tomorrow we're shaping up to be a hell of a day. Do whatever needs doing. Then get some rest. A raid is a raid. This is still your night. We'll some raise a toast to you! Glory. Could have given me a heads up about this. And ruined all the fun? Are you kidding? Are you all right? Yeah. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. And how's the jacket? Not too tight? Snug as a glove. Feels like I've been wearing it a while. Don't you think you have? You earned this jacket. And the Alda Caldo's devotion. Thanks, Pan Am. If you want to talk, I'll be up there. What's this? Yard sale of some sort? This I might have. Take you have you to want. look around. And the so maybe I'll take two more forty-fives. The end. Another time, then. What just happened? Still can't quite wrap my head around it. Hardly anyone ever does. The day you get your jacket is a day you never forget. So, time for a ride? Yeah, I'm game. Hop in.
right, fire her up. I've got green across the board. Good sign. Where are we headed? Bobby said there's a scrapyard east of camp. Perfect spot for a little target practice. <laughs> now let's check Bobby's little find. Punch it, V. Explore your thing. Just keep shooting at those rust buckets. I'll recalibrate the targeting on the go. Feels better, doesn't it? Seems so. Blast another, just to be sure. Let's head back. I'll have to check before tomorrow if her guts are tight and firm. Something just don't sound right to my ear. Are we heading back? I'll take her now. I get picky about parking. about tomorrow it's not a matter of nerves not anymore don't you want one uh, why the hell not back during the war before we were first deployed we were trained to keep stress in check do you want to know how how they gave us chem cocktails supplements boosters god knows what else they shot them into our veins. Our biomons went wild, but only for a second before stabilizing, and boy, did we stabilize. After a dozen sessions, something clicks in your brain. Neural pathways get rewired. The part of you that generates fear is zapped into oblivion. So, not afraid of anything at this point? If only it was that simple. I'm not concerned about tomorrow. Raids like that are second nature. It's what's going on in the camp. Eh, no matter. I'm talking silly now. Come on. All in the family now, isn't it? The truth is I'm concerned about the goings-on between Pan Am and Saul. They seem to think that putting on a brave face for everyone is enough, but folks here aren't slow. There's gossip spreading like wildfire already. That Saul won't pull through, that he's in it for himself. That this family needs a shake-up. And? They right? They are. But nobody knows what comes next. Your turn. What do you reckon? Truly? Thought Saul would throw in the towel after all that went down. I'm no pundit on campfire politics, but to my eye... Saul doesn't have a whole lot of wiggle room. Could just pass the torch to Pan Am. He could, but Saul's no brick brain. He knows Pan Am doesn't want to fill his boots. So she got cold feet. I thought you knew her better. Hmm. Pan Am has decided to risk her life, our lives, for you, and only you. So I don't think I dare to call that cold feet. No, no, what I... What I meant was... It's all good feet. I get it. It's like this, see? Pan Am's hell-bent on helping you. But Saul sees this whole thing as an opportunity. Possible loot from Makoshi. Mm-hmm. If we pull this off, get our hands on some sweet Arasaka tech that'll set us up down south. Do you follow? It'll ease folks' fears. Buy Saul some time. Saul's a smooth operator. He knows what he's doing. Let's just hope he hasn't overplayed his hand. 
All right, we've gossiped enough for one day. What was just spoken stays between us, okay? I'm gonna poke around some in this baby's insides. Right. Happy hunting, Mitch. So maybe I'll take two more 45s. Seeing as Dakota gesture. seems to be feeling generous today. Dramatic even. Actually, pragmatic. I'm giving away my stock to you so you survive tomorrow's mad hell and come back to me. Can't let it hover just above the ground. Not in those conditions. I'll see to the sensors. You keep checking the thrust. Maybe something is blue. I think we'll pull through tomorrow. I know these people. Some better than myself. The focus of mind, sense of purpose. Calm before the storm. They'll give it their all. Yeah, I bet they will. Good night, Saul. Wait. Hmm? I feel I need to make one thing clear. You've done a lot for this clan, and for me, more than anyone ever has. But the family comes first. Saul. Let me finish. I also know there's just one thing that could break it up at this point. If Pan Am and me. We went our separate ways. The Aldecaldos would not survive that split word to occur again. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? You're helping because you got no choice. I want the clan to think you and Pan Am are acting as one. In other words, you're playing politics. It isn't that simple. V, I'll send these people to their deaths tomorrow. So I have to know I'm not doing it just for you, me, or Pan Am. But for the good of the clan, I get it. You'll understand eventually. That jacket wasn't for nothing. I hope so. Take care of us all. Good night. Good night. Thoughts? I have none. I mean, I don't even know. I'm so tense I barely caught a wink last night. It's likely to be the same tonight. What's eating you? Well, let's see. Tomorrow I'll lead my whole clan to near certain death. As if that's not enough, Saul is suddenly concurring with everything I say. And I don't even know if that's good or bad. Fuck. People are doubting us. I can feel it. But they still believe if it all goes to shit, Pan Am will be there for them. Because who else, right? You feel responsible for them, and who in the right mind wouldn't? It's not the responsibility I'm worried about. I'm just looking at this with a cool head. Saul has made all the wrong decisions to be a little more like me. But only I know what I'm good at and at what I stink. I'm not a miracle worker, V. I'm scared to the bone something will go wrong, that everyone will... Nobody's dying tomorrow, Pan Am. You don't know that. The fam. They're tougher than you think. Bullets don't distinguish between tough and weak.
V. Yeah. Are you not afraid to die? I am. All the fucking time. You're great at hiding it. Time to head back, maybe? No. Let's sit here a while longer. This is doing me good. More than I thought.